Alright, we're back with another Steam free to play review. Today we have Echo of Combats. Despite the crazy name, I think it should be called Echoes of Combat, but <laughs> Echo of Combats, let's go. So, they find your name, which is cool, but then they tell me my name's not good enough to actually be my name in this game, <laughs> which is kind of annoying, but <laughs> alright. So you start off with like five booster packs. This is a game that is like very, very Hearthstone like. But they do improve on some things, so that kind of kept it a little bit interesting. Like, there's some pretty neat mechanics, and I got super lucky and got this epic, but I don't think I noticed them because I never put them in my deck when I built one. <laughs> uh, I played a good bit of Hearthstone back in the day, like when it first came out. And this game has 250 cards according to the creators, which is a lot of cards to start out with. Hopefully they don't do like Hearthstone did with the expansions where it just becomes like a huge money grab. And like they just continuously release expansions so you gotta continuously get new cards to build the new decks and whatnot. It seems like there could be like a lot of variety in this game with the cards because the abilities are pretty different. So there's no tutorial. They didn't really tell me how to play the game when I started. So I just jumped into a game. And that's how I decide your turn. The animations aren't near aren't as creative as first stones, but I don't think that matters too much. Really, it's just about like the how well you can create decks, I think, is a real big part of if the card game's good or not. Like, the uniqueness of the cards and whatnot to create different kinds of decks, which I think this game is pretty decent at, from my playing it. I don't have, like, near any, like, all the cards unlocked, but I played it a pretty good amount to test out the cards I did have. So I picked the attack button, but there's actually the range button, which lets you hit without getting attacked back, and you have this range roll... roll roll and row in the back <laughs> that you can use to sh put your archers and I just forfeited this game because this dude was dumping on me and I didn't know how he got five energy while I only had two but then I tried to play against the computer because I figured it might like coach me or something it doesn't really coach you and the computers have OP cards apparently I found out so yeah like in Hearthstone you don't get as many cards at the start but you do get to Keep what cards you want and then redo them back into your deck or whatnot. So, I was watching this dude and I noticed he discarded his card. So I was like, maybe that's how they're getting more energy. Because this is a game where you kind of have to figure it out for yourself. But once you get the basic mechanics, it's not too challenging. It's still very, like, Hearthstone-like. You have your taunt cards, but then you have the melee roll, row and the range row. And why is row such a hard word to say? <laughs> God. <laughs> My full-on speech impediment is coming back. It is a challenge. So, this was with the custom decks, which are really bad. Like, the custom decks are really bad. So, I would recommend once you open your five boost packs, make your own deck. It's Like, in Hearthstone, I could kind of win with the custom decks. With this, I had no chance. I was just getting demolished. Like, it was abysmal. <laughs> so, this is what happens when you discard. You can get one plus mana each turn. And then one plus mana that turn as well. So that's how you get the plus one mana. And then you have to make a choice between getting that and discarding it for two more cards, which is interesting. Like, it's a neat mechanic. Because it really makes you think about how you're going to use your energy. It'll be more. I'm waiting to see how they're going to change this as rank comes out. I don't think. I'm sure there's a lot of broken stuff you can do in this game from the cards I've seen. Like that card right there, that 6-6, six, six, literally destroyed all my monsters. That thing is broken. I hate that card. And if you noticed, he already had one of them. Like I destroyed it and then he summoned another one. Which was super annoying. <laughs> like I was like, oh I should be fine, I finally killed it. And nope. <laughs> he just summons another one. And he's like an epic monster, but the computers have the best cards in the game apparently. And they're ruthless. So this is how you make your deck. First you create your hero by picking the class and alignment of your hero and then it'll give you the hero for the actual choices that you made. I don't know why, but I just kind of made the same hero I was using originally anyways. Because, I don't know, she seems kind of neat. I like that she can hit two things in one turn even though she only does one damage. Even though I figured out you can buff your hero's attacks with cards because this one dude I fought had something that made her damage too and your heroes already like automatically instead of a hero power they already have an attack and some of them have I guess that kind of is their hero power like she can hit two units one dude gets like shield armor every turn 
so it still has kind of like that but you don't need a weapon to actually hit you like start out with a hit from the get-go so you pretty much kill their monsters when they attack you from retaliation so that makes the games go a little bit longer since their mo your monsters kind of destroy themselves attacking the heroes let's see if we can actually win one now that I've made a deck because <laughs> I literally just got dumped by a computer and a real person which is strange not used to getting dumped by AI in card games, but OP OP. So in this game you have daily quests as well, so you can get money to like buy free card packs. And then there's always the option where you can actually like pay actual money to get like the premium currency in the game. Hopefully they do something like Hearthstone has where like if you win so many matches, you'll get the free currency as well. So there's like benefits besides just like ranking up. They don't even have the rank up yet because there's no rank play yet. But they do have the option, it's just grayed out, so eventually that's going to become a thing. Hopefully they'll make that money acquiring system as well, so you don't just have to rely on dailies. This is still super early access, I believe. Like, it said on Steam it came out yesterday, I believe. But yeah, this guy picked the same class as me, trying to trying to be as good as me at this game. So now, yeah, that's what I'm talking There's something you need to watch out for in this game. That's super important is that like when you mouse over the cards a lot it doesn't tell you what they do so you have to like scroll through the side and like read the abilities of the cards which is super annoying hopefully that changes and when they use spell cards it doesn't show them on the field like there's no animation for it it just shows up on the side and does like whatever the effect is so you gotta pay really close attention hopefully that is something they fix that is like a pretty big issue I believe because like if you don't know what's going on and they're like they sneak something by you because there's no animation and the card doesn't show up anywhere on the field besides the sidebar that's still like constantly scrolling anyways because it does like every action in the game so far. I feel like, like that could trip you up a lot because it's easy enough to forget to make moves and stuff like that in the game that you don't need anything like that helping it like causing you to do it even more than you already are. <laughs> like I'm very bad about forgetting to do attacks with my hero and whatnot. As you can see, I'm trying to scroll through the side to see what's going on. So, uh, this guy makes the biggest mistake here because he could have, like, killed my monsters, but he didn't. And I have him in complete legal. <laughs> he is in absolute legal range. So that is, like, the biggest mistake. So now I just need him to end his turn so I can rain divine providence upon him as I win the first game of my... Call Echoes of Com Echo of Combat Victory. <laughs> the name is hard to remember because it doesn't make sense to me in the head when I'm saying it. Should be Echoes of Combat. <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't know if they had like trouble getting the name because it was already used, but I win! Yay! I'm the best at this game. So hopefully they add like another game mode to like Arena. But this game gets a six out of ten because it it's very much like a Hearthstone clone. But at the same time, it's like Golden Age Hearthstone before they like started messing it up, in my opinion. And it really seems like they did do some things that can improve the game. Like, they have different mechanics for the cards. And they also have... It plays a good bit differently with how heroes attack and how units can be... Ranged units can only be put in one spot and the melee units on another. So it's, it's pretty interesting. I'll check it out if you're a Hearthstone fan and you still play that game. This would be a good game to maybe switch to if you're tired of like the cash grabs that Blizzard's been doing with the expansions and whatnot. Maybe you're too committed though, I don't know. But if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!